What's up, everybody? Welcome to yet another one. Question 5, November 2020. It was a function question and it was an exponent and it was given by f of x is equals to 3 to the power of negative x and it's sketched below a. It's a y-intercept. Now let's have a look at that one. There is a. That is our y-intercept. We get y-intercept when x is equal to zero we all know that by now and then we also are given by a, a line a straight line given by y is equals to nine all right okay so let's have a look at this question it's got five questions and uh, 5.1 up until 5.5 .5, and then uh, at 5.1 one they said we must find the coordinates of a 5.1 coordinates of a we said it's our y intercept and therefore we get it when x is equal to zero so if we take f of x we say f of x okay we get it when x is equal to zero let me put zero there it is a three to the power of negative zero anything to the power of zero is going to give us one and therefore uh, the coordinates of A will therefore be um, 1, rather, it's 1 is to 0. Okay, great stuff. And that's how you would get your 1 mark right there. And then uh, let's move on, 5.2. Uh, 5.2 says uh, uh, find det determine the coordinates of B. B, in this case, is this point here. We already know at this point, we don't know the X value, but we know that the Y value is 9. All right, okay? So therefore, what we would do, we would go to our equation, the given equation, which is F of X is equal to 3 to the power negative X. Therefore, we are saying, what is y? y is 9. Therefore, 3 to the power of negative. Right? We need to find the x. All right. So, 3 to the power of 2 is also equal to 9. 3 to the power of negative x. And according to the exponent rule, if the bases are the same, therefore, the exponents should be also equal. All right. Negative x. Divide both sides by negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 1. Negative would cancel out. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2. Therefore, this brings us to uh, the conclusion to say that, therefore, the coordinates of b is negative 2 is to 9. Great stuff. And that's how you would deal with uh, 5.2. And therefore, 5.3, 5.3, it says uh, we need to write down the domain. All right. Okay. The domain in this case, because you are dealing with an exponent function. So the line of asymptotes here is this uh, x is equal to zero. This is the line of asymptotes. So our graph will never touch the x axis uh, rather. So therefore, 5.3 should therefore be given by any this it means our graph will be x is greater than zero so it will never touch zero zero and therefore x should be elements of all real numbers all right okay and then that's how you would deal with the uh, 5.3 let's go ahead uh, have a look at 5.2 5.4 uh, rather it says to describe the translation from f to h okay Let's have a look at this h here. It says h of x is equals to 27 uh, all over 3 to the power of x. Okay, so this one, we need to simplify it so that we can be able to see what happened for it to move to 3 to the power of ne negative x to where it is now. All right, so therefore, we can say uh, 27 can be written as 3 to the power of 3. Therefore, 3 to the power of x can be written as 3 to the power of negative x okay great stuff so when it's like this uh, we say uh, according to the exponent rule if the bases are the same you are multiplying you add the exponent if you are lost guys you don't understand what i'm talking about please just go have a look at our lesson on exponents rather okay all right so therefore the bases are the same you are multiplying you add the exponent so if you ever look at this this what is happening here is that whatever x value is there we have added 3 to that x value all right so by addition of adding 3 to uh, the x value we can safely say therefore this graph was therefore shifted to the right okay why am I saying to the right? Because we added positive 3 
to our initial value of x whether it's negative or positive it doesn't matter the what matters it we have added positive three so by adding that positive uh, three it means we shifted uh, to the right by three units what was the question describe so this is how we have described it therefore we would get our full three max right Okay, great stuff. So let's go ahead and move to 5.5. Determine the values of x for which f of x is less than 0. All right. I think I'm going to move to the next uh, page here because I'm running out of space. Okay. Well, let's move to the next page. All right. Okay. So we're busy with 5.5. 5.5. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, h of x is less than 1. What is h of x? We know h of x, we have solved it that side. It was 27 over 3 to the power of x as given, right? Because to 1. So if you were to simplify this or cross multiply rather, okay? So let's go ahead and cross multiply this. If we cross multiply, this is as good as that. We are going to therefore have um, 27 uh, less than 3 to the power of x. Therefore, this is 3 to the power of 3, less than 3 to the power of x. Therefore, if the bases are the same, if the bases or rather no, I think I made a terrible mistake here, guys. When we cross multiply, this should be, uh, this should be x is, okay, no, 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 I didn't make a mistake, it's fine. Therefore, we would drop the exponent 3x, x. Therefore, x is greater than 3. And that's how you would deal with the question 5.5. If you've got any questions or you're a little bit confused, guys, uh, please uh, drop us a comment or you can request a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. Please check my the, the numbers that you can use to reach to me on WhatsApp and make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Please stay tuned. We will be coming back with question 6 of November 2020, 2021 and 2022. I am Gustin Mapala. See you on the next one.